That's right. Okay, we need six o'clock. I call the organizational meeting in order at 6 p.m. Please take the roll call. Anthony DeBaker. Here. Michael Schmidt. Here. Jesse Liebenau. Here. And Kim Olson. Here. All right, quorum's present. Resolution 5902, 2024, approved the results of the April 2nd, 2024 spring election. Please read. All right, I hereby certify that the following is a true and correct statement of the results of the spring election held in and for the city of Mabel, Dodge County, Wisconsin. The number of votes cast for the mayor for the city of Mabel was 609 votes. Rob Belk, John Gwynn received 308 votes, and Joseph Tillman received 233 writing votes. The number of votes cast for Alderman of the second ward for the city of Mabel was Joseph Tillman receiving 174 votes. He declined the position. The writing votes received 32. The number of votes cast for Alderman, all the person of the fourth ward for the city of Mabel was write in Jesse Liebenau. Votes received six. The number of votes cast for Alderman for the sixth ward for the city of Mabel was Kim Olson received 75 votes. Write in votes received 59. Passed on the, by this common council, the city of Mabel, on the 16th day of April 2024. You heard the resolution. Is there a motion? So moved. Your second. Second. Motion by Schmidt. Second by the Baker. Any discussion? <clears throat> All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Both of office. Both of office. New city council members. Oh, we did. Uh, sorry about that. Let's do the pledge of allegiance. As the agents to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and all for all. All right, sorry about that. All right, now the oath of office is to council members. Sure. Okay, I, Rob Belt, have been elected or appointed to the office of mayor, but have not yet entered upon the duty thereof. I swear or confirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin, and will faithfully discharge the duties of that office to the best of my ability to follow God. Jesse, you've been out of Jesse, you know, I've been elected to the see the office of all the work for, but not yet, but not, but have not yet entered upon the duties thereof. It's where that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin and the faithfully discharged duties of said office to the best of my ability, so I'll do that. Yeah. 
I can also, having been elected or appointed to the office of Alder Person 6, Ward 6, but have not yet entered upon the duties thereof, swear or affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the state of Wisconsin and will faithfully discharge the duties of said office to the best of my ability. So help me God. <laughs> All right, the new elected council. All right, mayor's comments. Well, before I make any comments, uh, Mr. Madden, our city attorney, wants to make a few statements. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank the brand new council. Looking forward to the turn for all of you. Um, in light of what has gone on, uh, recently, with the uh, with the petitions filed, uh, we have four citizens of the city of Mayville for removal of some of the council members. The subsequent suspension of a couple of council members by the former mayor and the potential for the statement of those council members along with the, uh, the pending, uh, the hearing that's pending, it's required by the statute. Uh, we looked into kind of the procedural ins and outs of that, recognized that it was, it was cloudy at best. And I took it upon myself to um, reach out to the people who complained who uh, have, have uh, lodged the complaints for the petition to find out what their thoughts were as far as how this was going to go, how the procedure that I was going to have to research and implement uh, to, to go through these hearings and so forth. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy to tell you, Paul, that all four of these people who are who I think are, are should be lauded for their for being involved. I think the, the petitions that they filed have gone in good faith. I don't, I'm not passing judgment on anyone who, you know, of the, the uh, allegations and the petitions. All I'm saying is that they all for these people, very civic minded in our discussions. I didn't pressure at them or anything else, but they all, so to, to each one of them said, look, we want to see our city council move forward in a positive direction. We need to stop the dysfunction. We need people to behave as as older people should behave respectfully. And if the drawing our petition is going to further that, then we are all on board to withdraw our petitions. And I have uh, got a written confirmation from each one of them tonight that I can tell you that those petitions have now all been withdrawn. So I just do a little formal paperwork on that. But I do have a statement from all four of them allowing me to inform this council that those petitions are withdrawn. And I think you should, I think that clears the air quite a bit going forward. We will not have to set up those hearings. We don't have to worry about uh, any potential problems with reading statement. And I want to thank those people for their cooperation in that and I hope that that leads into a more productive council going forward. So congratulations to you know, those of that pile of uh, extra work and expense to do those hearings. So I want to announce that today before you went forward with the rest of you. All right, well, thank you, Mr. Mann. Thank you. All right. All right, with that being said, sometimes before you can move forward and look ahead, you need to you know, clean up some stuff in the past. So I applaud the four citizens that File the charges for withdrawing the charges, and you know, should be commended for that. So thank you very much. Uh, you know, 
this election was very stressful for our city and our citizens. You know, there was some division that took place within our organization and our city. And employees were put to the test. Um, I want to address a few issues with our city staff and employees. Well, first off, I don't, I do not condone employees being a target public or on the internet by anyone. It doesn't matter if it's an elected position or an employee, it should not be tolerated. I support new, I support the new council rules. And I also think we should actually have a, an ethics policy as well as a code of conduct policy uh, going forward. So I encourage the council, we put that agenda and we should and look at them things as well. This will address the issues along with other rules to better govern this body. I would like you to keep that in the back of your mind see if there's some other rules you would like to come up with. On behalf of the city, I apologize to the city staff and employees for some kind of conduct that took place during this election cycle. Tonight, I come with you with you know five members of the council and, and full committees we can start getting back to work and make Mabel the best it could be. We need to work together moving the city forward. So that's all I have. And I hope that uh, the council will take my words hard and that we can move forward and get some things accomplished while they look ahead of us. All right, with that being said, I have number six reinstatement of uh, Alderman Newman. So with the what the city attorney has, has, has stated, I'm reinstating Ken Newman back to the city council. Um, so Ken, you want to come up here and take your seat? All right, item seven, district attorney review of Alderman seat pending the decision. Uh, this district attorney is reviewing some of the stuff that took place last month. And uh, I haven't heard anything since, but we'll see what the end result is with, the, with the, their, their findings, I guess. All right, that being said, we'll go on to council election for council president. We're gonna open up for nomination for council president. Is there any nomination for council president? In an effort to bring this council back together so that we are all aware of the fact that we are working for the citizens of Maine for the betterment of their lives and all concerned. I would like to take this time to nominate Ken Newman to be our next council president. I will second that. All right, there's a motion made second for Ken Newman. Is there any more nomination? I second. All right, any more nominations? Any more nominations? Seeing no not other nominations, nominations are opposed. All those in favor electing Ken Newman as uh, council president, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <laughs> council election for council representative on the planning commission. Is there a motion for a representative on the planning commission? Is there a motion for anyone on the planning commission? I'll make a motion. Uh, for Mike Schmidt. All right. Motion made by Mike Schmidt. Is there a second? I'll second it. Second by Newman. Is there any other nominations for planning commission? Is there any other motions for planning commission? Seeing none. All those in favor of electing Mike Schmidt for the planning commission. All those in favor of the aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right, appointments to the Public Works, Finance, Personnel, and Public Safety Committee. Is that this resolution? No, you don't have a resolution. You don't give me that. 
for them. Mm -hmm. All right. We just set up those permissions. Okay. So that's right. So at this point in time, until we fill Ward Two vacancy, um, I think that we should have the Finance Committee, Personnel, and Public Safety Committee all pull on that committee as a whole until further notice until we appoint someone or fill that vacancy. So moving forward, we'll have everyone as committee as a whole. All right, Resolution 5903-2024, naming the official newspaper. Okay, whereas the Dodge County Pioneer of Theresa, Wisconsin, is a qualified newspaper and state in Wisconsin State Statute 985.03, and now therefore be it resolved that the Common Council of the State of Maine will does hereby designate Dodge County Pioneer of Theresa, Wisconsin, as the official newspaper of the City of Maine, as per Wisconsin State Statute 985.062, for a period of one year commencing May 1st, 2024. Is there a resolution? Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by the banker. Is there a second? Second. Second by Schmidt. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Resolution 5904-2024, naming official depositories. Whereas BMO, Era Bank, Mabel Savings Bank, is Key Bank, Ehlers Investment Partners, LLC, Oricon State Bank, National Exchange Bank and Trust, and, and Wisconsin Local Government Investment Pool all qualify as public depositories under Chapter 34 of the Wisconsin State Statute. And whereas the Common Council of the City of Mabel does hereby designate BMO Harris Bank, Mabel Savings Bank, PSV Bank, Ehlers Investment Partners, Oricon State Bank, National Exchange Bank and Trust, and Wisconsin Local Government. Government investment pool as public depositories for all public money coming into the hands of the Treasury of the City of Maine, Dodge County, Wisconsin. Now there be resolved that the County Council of the City of Maine does hereby approve, you know, approve the above mentioned public depositories as listed. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion by Newman. I'll second. Second by Olson. Any discussion? Being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Right. Opposed? Theory. All right, resolution 5905 2024 appointments of weed commissioner John Wild, where it is accords with public code 105.2. May the mayor shall appoint subject confirmation by the council of weed commissioner, and there, therefore the mayor hereby appoints John Wild as the weed commissioner. For a one year term commencing May 1st, 2024. And now that it be resolved that the Common Council of the City of May will thus hereby approve the above mentioned mayoral appointment of John Wild as we commissioner. For the resolution, is there a motion? I'll make that motion. Motion by Olson. I'll second. Second by the Baker. Any discussion? All those in favor, seen by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. John, you want to come up and get sworn in again? You don't have it. You don't have it? That's fine. You set it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. All right, John. Okay, Thanks. Thank Appreciate you. it. All right. <laughs> Resolution 5906, 2024, set date and time of boards of a board of review. All right, whereas, whereas according to Wisconsin State Statute Section 70.47, the board of review shall meet annually at any time during the 45 day period beginning on the third Monday of April. And whereas the board of review is set for June 11, 2024, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. by contact and see assessed. Associate Appraisal Consulting Incorporated to schedule an appointment for open book. Whereas the open book will be held May 4th or May 24th, 2024 from 1 to 3 p.m. at City Hall. 
Now there is be resolved that the Common Council of City of Mabel does hereby set a meeting the 2024 Board of Review for June 11, 2024 from 4 to 6 p.m. Is there a motion? I'll make that motion. Motion by Olson. Second. Second by Newman. Any discussion? So that, that is something that is required that make sure you mark your calendar so we have to be here for the full flow. We're going to know what he comes, all right? Uh, just so you know, I have, I'm going to be gone from June 2nd through the 19th. Okay. It's paid for vacation with several flights and everything. So. All right. Duly noted. You want to make that a note? All right. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And carried. Mayoral proclamation will declare on April 26, 2024 as Arbor Day. Do you need this? Or do you need that? That's this, that's this one. Where in 1872, J. Stilly Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special day be set aside for planting trees. And whereas the holiday called Arbor Day was first observed with the planting of more than 1 million trees in Nebraska, whereas Arbor Day is now observed through the nation and the world, and whereas trees can reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cut heating and cooling costs, moderate the temperatures, clean, and clean the air, produce oxygen, and provide habitat for wildlife. Whereas trees are renewable resource, giving us paper, wood, for our homes, fuel, fuel, our fire, and countless other wood products, and where the trees in our city increase property values, enhance the economic viability of business areas, and beautify our community. And there it be resolved that I, John, or I'm John, I, Rob Belk, mayor of the city of Mabel, do hereby proclaim August 26, 24 as our day. In the city of Mabel, I encourage all citizens to support efforts to care for our trees and woodlands and support our city community forest programs. Heard the resolution and their motion. I make that motion. Motion by Olson, second by Schmidt. Any more discussion? Yes, I'll read one more thing. I did get a letter in the mail today <laughs> from the Arbor Day Foundation. The Dear City of Dear Tree City USA community members. On behalf of the Arbor Day Foundation, I'm thrilled to congratulate Mabel on earning recognition as a 2023 Tree City USA. Residents of Mabel should be proud to live in a community that makes the planting and caring of trees a priority. Founded in 1976, Tree City USA is a partnership between the Arbor Day Foundation, the U.S. Forest Service, and the National Association of State Forests. Mabel is part of an incredible network of more than 3,600 Tree City USA community nationwide programs with a combination of a population of 155 million. Over the last few years, the value and importance of trees has become increasingly clear. Cities and towns across the globe are facing issues with air quality, water resources, personal health and well-being, and energy use. Maybe has taken a step to create a brighter, greener future. We hope you are Excited as we are to share this accomplishment with your local media and residents. It closes the packet for a press release for you to distribute at your convenience. Thank you, Sam Lamb, Arbitrate Foundation Chief Executive. All right. Any more discussion? All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. All right, appointments to various committees and commissions. Resolution 5907, 2024, appointment to the library board. Where in accordance with the municipal code 22-12A, the mayor shall appoint subject confirmation by the common council, and therefore the mayor hereby appoints Alderman Mike Schmidt to serve on the library board for one year term commencing May 1st, 2024. 
and hereby appoint Susan Smith and Lisa Newman with terms expiring June 30th, 2027. And now that it be resolved that the Common Council of the City of Mabel does hereby approve the above mentioned mayoral appointments to the library. Is there a resolution? Is there a motion? I make that motion. Motion by Olson. I'll second. Second by the Baker. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Resolution 5908 2024 appointments to the Community Development Authority. Whereas the term of the mayor, Rob Belk, and Alderman Anthony Baker on the Community Development Authority Committee will expire on April 30th, 2025. Uh, yeah, 2025. And we're in the courts of Resolution 1948 1990. The mayor shall appoint subject to confirmation of the council. And there be, therefore, the mayor hereby appoints Alderman Anthony the Baker to serve on the Community Development Authority Committee for a one year term commencing May 1st, 2024, and appoints Sue Wilderman, Melissa Worthington, and Steve Kays to serve as a citizen members, filling the vacant seats set in expired July 31st, 2026. And now that it be resolved that the Common Council of the City of Mayville does hereby approve the above mentioned mayoral appointments to the Community Development Authority. So we'll say it. Motion by Schmidt, second by Newman. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. All right, resolution 5909 2024, appointments to Administrative Review Appeals Board. We're in, we're in accordance with the Municipal Code 22 4A. The mayor shall appoint subject to confirmation of the Common Council. Therefore, the mayor hereby appoints Mayor Rob Belk. All the persons just leave note to serve on the administration review appeals board for a one year term commencing May 1st, 2024. Now that be resolved, the Common Council of the City of Mayville does hereby approve the above mentioned mayoral appointments to the administrative review appeals board. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Schmidt. Second. Second by Olson. Any discussion? All the favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. All right, resolution 5910-2024, appointments to the Water Wastewater Commission. Whereas on April 16, 2024, Mayor Belk appoints Ken Newman and Jesse Lieberno to an automatic, to automatic um, members and Gene Springs as citizens of the Wastewater Commission as confirmed by the council in the resolution 5870-2023 to fill the term commencing on May 1st, 2024. We're in accordance with Municipal Code 22.9A, the mayor shall appoint subject confirmation of the Common Council to the Water Commission, and therefore the mayor hereby appoints Joe Holman to serve on the Wastewater Commission for a five-year term set to commence on October 1st, 2024. Now, now therefore, it be resolved that the Common Council see a mayor hereby Approves the above mentioned mayoral appointments to the Water Wastewater Commission. For motion? Make a motion. Motion by o Newman. I'll second. Second by Olson. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Appointments to the Park and Recreation Commission. We're in accordance with Municipal Code 22 10 a the mayor shall appoint subject to confirmation of the Common Council and there. Therefore, the mayor hereby reappoints Alderman Kim Olson to serve on the Park and Recreation Committee and the TAG Center Advisory Commission for a one-year term commencing May 1st, 2024. And therefore, it be, and the, therefore, it is recommended of the mayor to appoint Steve Kleiner and Kathy Sertich to the Park and Recreation Committee. The term will expire on April 30th, 2025. Now, therefore, it be resolved that the Common Council of the City of Mabel does hereby Approve the above mentioned mayoral appointments to the Park and Rec Commission and Take Center Advisory Commission. Your motion? So moved. Motion by Schmidt. Second. Second by the Baker. Any discussion? I have a question. Um, so, Kathy Sarkin, what's the second one? Hey, Steve Liner. Steve Liner. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. 
Opposed? Motion carries. All right, resolution 5912-2024, appointments to the Planning <laughs> Commission. Whereas the mayor accept, accepted the resignation of Merle Callahammer from the Planning Commission on April 16, 2024, and we're in accordance with Municipal Code 22-1A, the mayor shall appoint subject to confirmation of the Common Council, and thereby the mayor hereby appoints Travis Poles for the term ex commencing May 1st, 2024, with the term ending April 30th, 2027. And thereby, the mayor hereby reappoints Brock Fleischer to complete the current term ending April 30th, 2026. And now, therefore, it be resolved that the Common Council of of Mayville does hereby approve the um, mayoral appointments to the Planning Commission. Is there a motion? I a motion. Motion by Newman. Second. Second by Schmidt. All right. Any discussion? All the favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. All right. Resolution 5913 2024. <laughs> Appointments to the Police, Fire, and EMS Commission. Whereas Brian Tom is uh, appointed to the Police and Fire Commission and EMS Commission, and there, there as in accordance with Municipal Code 22-5A, the mayor shall appoint subject of confirmation of the city common council. Whereas the term of Brian Tom shall expire April 30th, 2029. Now that now there it be resolved that the common council of the city of Mayville does hereby approve the above mentioned classification the expiration date of the police and fire commission EMS commission. Reappointment. Is there a motion? I'll make that motion. Motion by Olson. Second. Second by Schmidt. Any further discussion? All right, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Carries. Resolution 5915-2024, appointment to the Landfill Standing Committee of the City of Mayville. We're in accordance with Section 22-2 of the Mayville Municipal Code. The mayor shall appoint to the Board of Appeals subject to confirmation of the Common Council, whereas it is Re recommended of the mayor to appoint Alderman Mike Schmidt, Alderperson Tony D. Baker, with term ending January 31st, 2025, excuse me, and Citizen Larry Levenal to the Board of Appeals with a term expiring January 2027. Now that be resolved, Common Council of the City of Maine does hereby <laughs> approve the mayoral appointments to the Board of Appeals. <laughs> I missed one there. This is the yeah. Board of Appeals. <coughs> Your motion? Oh, hang on. So we've got Schmidt, the Baker, and Levenel as the standing committee on the landfill. No, this is going to be Board of Appeals. It's only Board of Appeals. Please. Okay. Item 24. Yeah. Is there a motion? I'll make that motion. Motion by Olson. Second. Second by Levino. Any discussion? Newman was the second. Newman. Any discussion? Okay, all the mayor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Skip 23. Right. Now is the landfill. Where is it? Resolution 5915-2024, appointment to the Landfill Standing Committee, City of Mabel, <laughs> where it is, where it is uh, responsible for representative of the City of Mabel to the Landfill Standing Committee, and where it is the mayor's desire to appoint Rob Belk and Bob Smith as the City Representative of the Standing Committee. Now that it be resolved that the Common Council of the City of Mabel does hereby approve the above appointment to the Landfill Standing Committee. For motion? I'll make that motion. Second. Who's second? All right, motion by Olson, second by Schmidt. Smith. Leave it up. Well, I leave it up. Leave it up. All right. <laughs> All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. All right, set committees, commissions, and board meeting times.
if not unanimous consent. So I put this on here because we had some issues with uh, committees and boards what time they would meet. So that's why I put this on the agenda that we set the, the time unless they unanimously consent to it, then they should have their meeting when they already want. But if there's someone that doesn't agree with the time, then we set the time. My only issue is, I mean, I know like parks and boards, most of us can be there at one o'clock meeting, but I don't like seeing the working man or woman being punished by these earlier times. And if you want somebody to be on these committees or commissions, I think the time should be a little bit more, you know, advantage towards the working man or wo woman. Um, the public, you talk about the public and the public, but some of these people who are on the committees and commissions have jobs, and it's impossible for them to make it at these earlier times. That's my only concern. Well, that's why we're bringing this up for discussion. What time you're going to set it for? Normally, they're six o'clock, but depending upon what committee or commission they're on. It's up, up to you in the, in the group. It's not up to me. There's a committee for a reason. The committee sets the time. If we can't unanimously, unanimously come up with a, a time that they all agree upon, then we were setting the time for them. I would say six. Is that a motion? I'll make that motion for six. I'll second it. All right, motion by Olson to have. Committees, commissions, and board meeting times at 6 p.m. unless unanimously approved by committee to change the time. All right, second by Newman. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It carries. Is that it? All right. Take the motion to adjourn. Motion by Newman to adjourn at 6 35. Is there a second? Second. Second by Schmidt. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. All right. Let's just take a five minute recess here. Okay. Five minutes.